My name is Chen Yu Wu. I am a sociology grad student at the University of Minnesota, and I'm a first generation immigrant. Although I was born in Taiwan in the late 1980s, um, I spent most of my childhood in Thailand itself. Expatriate families basically had uh, two choices when it came to uh, educating their kids. You know, they could either send their kids to Thai public schools or they could send their kids to an international school. And um, perhaps unsurprisingly, a lot of expat families chose the latter option, international schools. I enrolled in a K-12 through English speaking school, which accounts for my um, linguistic ability and comfort with the language. Um, so when it came time to choosing college, you know, due to my educational training, you know, my options were pretty much, you know, go to an Anglophone country. And the popular destinations for my peers, other people in my in similar situations, was you know here in the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Singapore. Um, I chose the United States for a couple of reasons. Um, first, my brother had enrolled in Grinnell College. He's older than me, and so he came to the United States three years before I did. And consequently, I already had a template for the process itself, applying to college, you know, getting a visa, you know, applying for the visa itself, moving to a new country. And so I applied to and was accepted at McAllister College in St. Paul in 2005, which was when I first set foot here in the United States. So like most international students, um, I came to the United States without any intention of immigrating. Um, I figured that um, I was here in pursuit of uh, an education, and whether or not I stayed in the United States afterward would be more a function of whether I was able to find a job here and you know, find an employer who was um, you know, willing and able to sponsor me for an employment visa. Um, and, you know, during my first year, you know, four years seemed to be a long time away, and so that was never something I gave that much thought to. Um, however, one thing that I quickly noticed after being here in the United States, spending a couple years here, was uh, how much more comfortable I felt here compared to the other two places that I've lived in my life, that being uh, Taiwan and Thailand. And what I mean by that is that um, it was an extremely liberating um, experience to you know, walk down the street here in the United States, you know, be able to read street signs and therefore know exactly where you are, to be able to read billboards, uh, storefront signs, ads, you know, and understand exactly what they say. That was not the case um, when I was in Taiwan or Thailand, as I never received formal linguistic instruction on um, either, you know, Thai or, you know, Chinese itself. And so um, even though this seems to be a fairly minor point, you know, as I speak both Chinese and Thai proficiently enough to, you know, hold a conversation, you know, um, ask people questions and, you know, I would never go hungry or lost in either one of those countries. Um, here, being here in the United States gave me a sense of independence unlike any sense of independence I've ever felt before.